Hello everyone, welcome back to Life Technologies YouTube channel and thank you for watching and supporting us. So today we are continuing with our Nokia Lab simulation. Remember in this series we discuss how to implement different networking technologies or different networking protocols or Nokia routing and switching devices. So if you haven't checked our previous videos, kindly have a look at them. So today we are focusing on how to implement static routes or Nokia routing devices. So remember many times for service provider networks we prefer to use dynamic routing protocols like OSPF, ISIS because they are scalable, you don't need to make any manual configuration, I mean manual changes whenever there is a failure in the network. But again, we still have to configure some static routes at some point. So you need to understand how to configure static routes on different vendors. So in this episode, we are discussing how to implement static routes or Nokia routing devices. And you can see from the topology, we have two routers. We have one router in Mombasa and one router in Nairobi. So we have an interconnect between them and we have assigned an IP address of 100.100.100.0 and then we are creating two loopback addresses so one loopback on Mombasa and another loopback on Nairobi router and then we need to achieve connectivity between the two loopbacks using static routes so uh, for this setup the first thing that we need to do is to configure the system for our routers so on R1 this is R1 I need to configure system name. This is Mombasa. And then on our R2, I also need to configure system name. We call it Nairobi. So if I run the command show system LLDP neighbor, you can see that we have an interconnect from Mombasa router to Nairobi on this interface. And similarly, on our Nairobi router, show system, LLDP neighbor, we have this interconnect between the two routers. So the next stage of our configuration, we need to configure interfaces. So we need to configure the interface between the two routers. And we also need to configure loopback interfaces on Mombasa and Nairobi routers. Then we can go ahead and implement static route configuration. So I will start on our Mombasa router. So you configure router interface, then we give it the name, we'll name it to Nairobi. And then we need to bind the port, so we need to bind the port, this is the port that is connecting Nairobi. So I will copy this, paste, info, we need to give it a description, we'll say it's to Nairobi. Always remember to give it a clear description, especially for anyone else who will be logging in. It will be easy for them to identify the connections. Then in for we need to assign an IP address. So this is how you assign address 100.100.100.0. Mask is 31. In for again to verify the config. So this is the interconnect between the two routers. On Nairobi router, we need to do the same. Configure router interface. This one we'll call it to Mombasa. And then we give it a description to Mombasa. And then we need to give an, an address of 100.100.100.1 mask is 31. And then we need to bind the port. So we are binding the same port. So I'll just paste what I had copied before info. So these are the configurations on Nairobi router, exit. So if I show router interface, you can see that we have this interface to Nairobi. For IPv4, it's up and even the admin status is up. So on Mombasa, we also do show run, show router interface. So we have an interface to Nairobi, we can try to ping. So you just need to run ping command and then the IP address 100.100.100.0. This is the local interface. We can try to ping the remote interface, show router 100.100.1. So we are able to ping. 
So the next stage, we need to configure the loopback interfaces. So on Mombasa router, we'll configure router interface. We'll call it loopback 100. And then we need to specify the loopback command. So configure router interface loopback 100 again. info will give it an IP address of so we just need to give it an IP address of 10.200.200.1 mask is 32 so if I run show router interface we expect to have two interfaces we have the loopback interface here which is up this one loopback 100 so we do similar configuration on our nairobi router so configure router interface loopback 100 we'll make it a loopback info and assign an ip address of 10.100 this is 100 100.100.1 mask is 32 so show router interface we can so currently we don't have any igp protocol configured show router interface we can show router route table so we only have these directly connected the local routes but we don't have any static route configured yet so we need to configure static route on our mombasa and nairobi routers and then we can have reachability between the two routers we can try to ping 10.100.100.1 we should not be able to ping you can see that no route destination so configure router this is how you configure static routes configure router static entry and then you need to enter the prefix. So on Mombasa router, we need to enter the prefix of 10.100.100.1, mask is 32. And then we specify the next hop. So the next hop, it's 100.100.100.1. And then you need to oh, shut down. So if admin display config, Merge static context all just to see the configuration that we have done so this is how you configure static route entry this is the ip that we are trying to reach and then this is the next hop configured and you always have to run this no shutdown command because it will be shut down by default so once we have done this we can do the same on our second router so i will configure router static route entry we are trying to reach 10.200.200.1 mask is 32 and then we need next hop next hop we are giving 100.100.100.1.0 so if we do this info you can see that it's shut down so you need to no shut down exit admin display config merge static context all so we can see these are the configuration that we have on nairobi router so if i run show router routing table you can see that currently we have a static route configured show router route table you also have a static route configured on our nairobi router so are we able to ping we can test our ping so we do ping 10.100.100.1 we are able to ping are we able to ping 10.200.200.1 we are able to ping so this is how simple it is to configure static routes or nokia routing devices i just again to show you the configuration remember we first configure the system name we configured the router interfaces and then we went ahead now to configure 
the static routes and then when you configure static routes you always have to run the no shut down command for it to be active or else it will be shut down so you always have to run the no shut down after the next hop so these are the configuration configure out a static entry the target ip address that we are trying to reach and then the next hop you need to specify it here and you do no shut down so this is how simple it is to configure static routes on Nokia routing devices. I hope you have enjoyed the session. If you have enjoyed it, please uh, remember to like this video. You can share with your friends. You can also leave a comment in our comment section. And if you are watching and you are yet to subscribe to our channel, also kindly subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thank you.